Hiawatha Bray here, just in time for holiday shopping season to offer a few tips about the pros and cons of a technology you're going to be hearing a fair amount about, smart TV. This has been around for a few years now, and little by little, these TVs actually are starting to develop something of a brain. But you may not really understand what everybody's talking about. Even people who own smart TVs often don't really use the features built into them. So what do we mean when we talk about a smart TV? Let's take a look at one here. This is a Viera television set made by Panasonic, and it's got what they call the smart Viera feature. Basically, what it is is the idea of installing apps, not unlike a smartphone or a tablet, onto your television set and combining that with an internet connection. You can download more apps and you can use the internet to operate the apps that you've already got. As a result, you can now use your TV to do a whole bunch of things other than just sit around watching television. You can use it to, for example, get the latest news headlines from the Associated Press. Originally, you had to have an external box, like an Xbox or a PlayStation or a an Apple TV to get access to stuff like this. But with smart TVs, the whole idea is you plug the TV directly into the internet, you download the app, and there you are watching Netflix. Or you could use the Picasa internet service to show off your favorite photographs. And you can do all this directly out of a smart TV without needing any other kind of a box. Smart TVs have been around for a few years now, and consumers have sort of shrugged but they really are just now starting to come into their own. They're starting to develop smart TVs with more powerful processors and some features that make them a lot easier to use. For example, there are now some smart TVs with speech recognition. You can actually talk to the set and tell it to do things, but there are still some significant barriers to smart TVs really fully catching on. For one thing, lots of people are buying devices like game machines and external boxes like Apple TV, which do many of the same things. And so people aren't even hooking up their TV even when they own a television that has these smart features. For another thing, a lot of smart TVs really leave something to be desired. Their processors still aren't sophisticated enough to do things as well as they should. You know how much time I spend dealing with technology, but I have to tell you, when I recently bought a new smart TV, it really confused the daylights out of me. The documentation that comes with a lot of these devices just isn't enough. They don't provide you with enough detailed information. So you may find yourself puzzling over exactly what you can do and how to do it. On the other hand, the ability to check the weather and do your uh, Facebook messaging and, and read the latest news headlines while sitting directly in front of your TV might appeal to quite a few of you. From the Tech Lab, this is Hiawatha Bray.